I honestly think these might be some of the most beautiful cars in the world. And the story of how it came about is, well, really British. Get in the car and let's get this segment. Jaguar is a bit of a favourite of mine. The company is almost 100 years old. and was originally founded to build sidecars for motorcycles. But this is the car that really set the bar, I think. The 1961 E-Type. When he saw it, Enzo Ferrari called it the most beautiful car in the world. High praise, indeed. He wasn't alone in his admiration. Accolades have followed this car ever since. It's been in movies, comics, games and TV shows. Unlike some later cars in the mark, it wasn't just looks though. The E-Type was light and fast. It would do 153 miles an hour and stopped on innovative four-wheel brakes that were better than anything Ferrari or Porsche or even Mercedes-Benz had. It was solid too, with a design based on the D-Type that won the 24 hours of Le Mans three years in a row. Anyone who owns an E-Type will tell you that the key to their reliability is to drive them regularly, as if you need the excuse. About two and a half thousand were built, and they're a common sight at auto shows, and surprisingly reasonably priced. All in all, an almost perfect Jaguar. The E-Type was the successor to the Le Mans winning D-Type. But what would that look like if Jaguar designed it today? In 2013, Jaguar answered that question with the F-Type Project 7, a spiritual successor to the E-Type and designed from the ground up to be the purest, most enjoyable Jaguar yet. The car's heritage is proudly displayed in the gorgeous D-Type. It curves and a distinctive aero hunch behind the driving position. But like the E-Type, it's not just a pretty face. Powered by a 5-litre V8 supercharged engine, with a fully aluminium body, it's blisteringly fast, with a 0-60 speed of 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 186 miles an hour. A car as beautiful as this must surely have been a carefully authored design. Actually, it started as a sketch by designer Cesar Pieri, thrown together one Friday in his free time. Jaguar's design director, Ian Callum, saw the sketch in a thumbnail on Cesar's computer during a meeting and asked him what it was. The rest is history. Project 7s were built as both a successor to the E-Type and as a celebration of Jaguar's victories at Le Mans. I think I speak for all of us when I say Thank heavens for Cesar's Friday afternoon doodle.